the Drum Kid 92. Hello there, everybody. It's the Drum Kid 92, and I have no chin. Virtually no chin. I shaved off all my facial hair. It's a bad move. Awful move. Uh, taters and I have come to the conclusion that I look like a sloth if I bring my lower jaw back, like... Totally a sloth. Um, <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but I'm just waiting for it to grow back, man. I cannot wait until it grows back. Yes, please. Brand new microphone. I guess that's the first thing I should talk about. Um, got rid of that piece of junk hunk of skunk that I was using uh, the previous microphone didn't even really have a brand it was just it was just like hey we sell this at Walmart whatever but this this beautiful gorgeous beauty beautimous gorgeous thing is the Audio Technica 2020 uh, and it has the wind tech pop guard <laughs> Um, instead of that big old funky pop filter I was using, um, it's this nice little compact thing that wraps right around it. Really, really cool. Really nice for a sound barrier because this baby picks up everything. Everything you could possibly imagine a microphone picking up, it will pick up. I had my door closed and Cody opened his door from across the hallway and it heard it. So I had to get something to block out the sound, right? Absolutely had to. There's no option. As some of you know, I've talked about it a couple times in some random videos, but never really in like a life update vid like this one. I am helping direct, well, helping being like a loose term, uh, direct uh, some of the plays at my old high school. And in the pit for the or where the orchestra would be, they have these soundproofing panels. And I guess they have like too many of them. They always have a couple extra. So uh, the lady that I'm working with, who's like a very close family friend of mine, um, basically like a second mom, she allowed me to... Um, take one of the panels so I cut it down because it was huge I obviously didn't need that much and couldn't use it that big anyways um, cut it down into this so it's kind of a V shape as you can see there and uh, yeah taped it all up made it all professional looking and uh, it sits like that around my mic so it's all directional sound which is nice um, the only thing I think I might want now is probably a boom stand. Um, it's like I have a mic stand, but it's just a it has no boom. It's literally just the stand. Um, so I'd like one to like a boom arm to be able to come in and I have the mic like very close to my face because um, as it stands right now, the best quality you get with this microphone is up close, uh, and that doesn't really work with my desk layout all that well. Um, but yeah, that's my new mic. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, oh, that's right. I have a little, I have a little notepad. It's Minecraft note blocks. Thanks, mom. Merry Christmas to me. Um, it was in my stocking, cause I am an adult and we still do stockings. That's the way my family does it. Um, <laughs> but uh, in other news, I've mentioned this also in a couple random videos, uh, but never in a life update vid like this. Uh, I do have a second channel. I do it along with Taters and one of my other friends, Andy. Um, it is called Saddle Coaster, like S-A-D-D-L-E-C-O-A-S-T-E-R. I'll put a link um, in the description. Um, but we, we just do really funny, weird videos. Um, we're in the works on a pretty awesome one right now. Uh, can't really release any details on it yet. We're keeping it kind of hush-hush. Um, but we have four or five videos uploaded now. We got like 29 subscribers or something. One of them is pretty weird. Uh, like two, three of them are pretty hilarious. One of them is just more on the weird side. But uh, it's it's really funny stuff. If you guys are looking for a change of pace, um, head on over there, check it out. Like I said, link will be in the description. Oh yeah, um, I don't work at GameStop anymore. I got fired over Christmas. The story with that is. Um, I was a manager there, so it was my responsibility to be watching the store. I was having a really bad day, just like a bad week in general. Um, and there was a lot of like, uh, like processing stuff I had to do, like for distribution and sending out packages, receiving them, all that stuff. And I didn't want to deal with customers because I was having a bad day. So I was focused on my packages, whatever, and I let my um, uh, sales associate, the guy that was that I was supposed to be you know, watching or whatever, um, 
a ruling over. Um, I kind of let him handle the customers and all that. So I would just keep my head down, whatever. Um, and this group of black guys came in. Um, not to be racist. They were just a group of black guys. Um, and they start looking around, whatever. And uh, one of them comes up and he wants to trade in a stack of what are clearly brand new games that had just been unwrapped. So he probably stole them from somewhere was my immediate thought. And it's terrible that you have to think that way. But it's it's retail. That's kind of the way you have to be um, for your own protection. It was quite clear they had been stolen, especially because the guy said something about him being homeless and needing to catch the bus or something. I was like, where are you going to get a stack of games if you're homeless? Red flags! <laughs> um, so I was watching them, whatever. I didn't actually see any of them take anything. But uh, you know, after after they left, um, my like an hour or so later, my sales associate and I realized we had a tower full of Afterglow accessories, which are 30 to 40 bucks a piece, depending, like headsets and controllers. Um, and, uh, pretty much the entire rack was like empty on one side. And my sales associate was like, Kyle, is this supposed to be empty? Like, was it like this when I came in here? No, no, it wasn't shit. So he's like, dude, we got to call, we got to call Andrew. Who's a store manager. We got to call him like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, eh, I'll take care of it after work. You don't have to worry about it. It'll be dealt with whatever. So. Because uh, we had like an hour left till close. So I called him on my way home. I explained to him the situation. He counted him the next day. Uh, we were missing like somewhere to the tune of like 20 or 30 headsets and controllers. And they also stole a bunch of Skylander packs too, which I hadn't noticed. Because um, I was running back and forth, front and back, um, front room or front area, back room, like grabbing stuff and shifting stuff around. Um, and uh, they got it all on video and everything. But uh, it all totaled around a grand like a thousand bucks. I had never been written up for anything before and I worked there for two and a half years and that was enough for them just to be like, you are out of here. Uh, so no warning, no nothing. They were just like, we're gonna have to let you go, which was pretty shitty. Um, when you think about it, two and a half years, I worked hard enough to get promoted. Um, I'm only 20 years old and I was a senior game advisor. Like that's not all that common. Usually they're in their early mid twenties. So clearly I knew what I was doing. I was just having a bad day bad mix of stuff but uh yeah that's why you don't work at GameStop because they fuck you over <laughs> whether you're working there or not bitterness aside um new video series uh, mirror's edge there's only a few episodes left to upload slender and ender there's several left um i'll probably be recording a dovaki 92 after this one uh we'll see um but this new series i'm calling it hind sight and uh, what it is is i'll go back in time and play older games like you know ps2 ps1 n64 or whatever that kind of era games um and just see how they hold up you know see how they compare to when i <clears throat> i may have dropped my mic okay go back in time play some old games see how they hold up compared to uh how they used to be like um whether it's graphically or gameplay wise just the way it makes you feel and how it affects like your thinking on things um so the very first one i'm doing is kingdom hearts i've already recorded it with taters um and it's uh kingdom hearts is a pretty damn good game it's fantastic uh, right now i'm just working on uh what type of intro outro kind of thing i want to do with it if any um if i want to figure out something for that but uh Yep, it is recorded. It is in Adobe Premiere. Um, and all I have to do is render it out. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably record some Dovakid. Fuck yeah. Dovakid 92. Sides grow mad hog. Brr. Um, and don't. I need to stop dropping my brand new mic. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. <clears throat> um, are you okay? All right. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Sounds grow my log. Bitch. And don't worry, I will be growing back my facial hair ASAP. Because this looks... I'm not a fan of this. I literally look like a sloth. I don't know. Not a good look for me. Well, I'll catch you guys all on whatever video I upload next. Whatever that's going to be. Catch you later. Bada boom, bada bang.